Hi, I'm Bill with Inman Fine Arts. Welcome to your window to a beautiful world. I just finalized another painting, that's why there's some paint on here this morning, so I'm going to utilize some of that for this hollyhock piece. So I had a mix of a, a mixture of green there, more than likely mixed from ultramarine blue and some either cadmium yellow medium, cadmium lemon, the the different transparent oxide colors that I have, like the oxide yellow, oxide orange, or oxide red. I do a mixture of all those colors to come up with my greens. Cerulean blue mixed with any combination of those. It depends on the color temperature that I'm looking for. I start off with that green mixture, put some more transparent oxide orange into it to warm it up, and then grabbed a little bit of that phthalo green which is a much cooler green, comparatively speaking, relatively speaking. Because out in nature, you have a mix of warm and cool temperatures. So I try to start right off with my background colors with that kind of a mix. Now, sometimes I would have left the background exactly the way I first washed it in there. But in thinking about my and thinking about my hollyhocks, I decided that I'd much rather have a light background to contrast with the dark lavender hollyhocks that I'm putting in here. So wipe it all off and just leave a nice tone behind the hollyhocks. Here I'm kind of using the edge of the paper towel to create little fluctuations in the color just for imagination purposes so that we can let the viewer kind of wonder at what's back there. All right, so we've got a simple little wash in here. And then I'm just gonna get a feel for where I want the placement of the flowers and the petals and stems and other parts of the hollyhock. So I just grabbed a little of the Gamblin Mineral Spirits and wipe some of the color back off of there. There's so many different ways to go about any painting. I could have simply waited and taken a light color with some more opaque white and other colors in it and made a stem that way. Sometimes if I wipe the color off like that to begin with, I can get some nice transparent effects underneath the color. Letting the white of the panel, the, the light comes through and bounces off the white of the panel and creates a more luminous feeling to it. So I just experiment. I might end up coming in later and replacing all of that. Always keep in mind that there really aren't any rules necessarily in art. There's some good guidelines and some helpful techniques that you can follow, but after you learn the basics, good drawing, sound, color understanding, learning how to work with edges and values, once you've got a good handle on those things, then it's all about play and experimentation and seeing what works and what doesn't and working until you get exactly what it is that you envisioned in your mind for a particular piece. A lot of these small pieces like this, especially the 5x7s, I might use some of my digital reference material, but I'll have several different photos up on my monitors, sometimes up 10 or 20 images that I use, just to kind of give me some memory kickers, things that'll help bring back to my mind what it is that I 
saw or, or experienced or felt while I was out on location. And then I use my imagination, for the most part, to create the composition and the overall tone or uh, feeling that I want to invoke in it. Because photographs primarily aren't going to capture what you saw with your eyes when you're out there. Because you're not just seeing with your eyes when you're on location, you're, you're listening and feeling you have the wind and the the birds, the rustling of the trees, the babbling of the brook, as it were. For me, I I will rarely use a photograph as it is. I much prefer to use my imagination and and kind of like watching the clouds. Sometimes I'll put down several different colors in a color field, just using the mineral spirits, wash it all in, or maybe uh, a little bit of medium like the gamblin, oh boy, I don't even remember what that stuff's called, like the uh, gamblin galkid, something like that, and put a bunch of colors on there and play like I'm looking at the clouds, see what I can pick out of the shapes that I've made with those color washes. And then just start cutting into it, playing with it, moving some of the shapes, manipulating others until I get a composition or some kind of an arrangement of shapes and colors and values and textures that's fun and that I enjoy and that I can work with. And oftentimes I, I'll develop a whole painting just from that, just using my imagination. Thanks for stopping by. Now get out there and paint your own masterpiece. Oh, and before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in any of my videos, just go to my website at InmanFineArts.com and you can find them all there. Have a great day painting.